Hi everyone, Precious Syria we here from Clickit Academy. In this video, I think it's important that I show you how to push your codes to GitHub. You know, you can't have your codes on your computer when you want to show them to maybe your potential employer or your friend. You know, if you want to tell someone to check your codes, you can't take your computer with you every time, but you can have the link to your GitHub pending when you have your own website. So let's do this. If you followed my training or any other training, it doesn't matter. Or if you've done any web development job before, HTML or CSS or just HTML, you're going to have a folder on your computer, just like I do have this one. So those who did my training will remember the HTML projects. I can open mine so you can see it. I have contacts, gallery, job form, lyrics. Yours will look different. It doesn't matter. But the point is you have a folder where all your files are inside, right? Okay. But there is something I want you to understand because it's going to lead to what we will do in another video. It is always good to have an index.html. So remember in this project, all our portfolio. So let me open my portfolio so you will see. So this is my portfolio. Mine is not well done, but it has link to every other project I have in the folder. So if I click on CV, you see it opens up CV, okay? So let's go back. So ensure your portfolio has link to all these different files, okay? It has link to all these different files. So I'm going to copy this portfolio and I will call it index.html. There's a reason why I'm doing that, okay? It's still the same file, just index.html. So it's it's because when we upload to GitHub, I also want us to be able to host our files on GitHub. So now that you have this folder, you have your index, which is still the same thing as portfolio. Don't forget, it's just the same. <coughs> I just copied it and changed the name. Let's go back. So I'm going to open HTML projects in uh, VS Code. Show more options, open with code. So I have it open with VS Code. Nothing serious is going here, okay? Uh, let me change the settings so that I can increase the font size so to 18. All right, so let's go back. Portfolio. So you can see portfolio, I have the same thing in portfolio as I have in index. So it's still the same thing, but you would see why later on. Now let's go back to GitHub. So I believe you have a GitHub account. As you can see, <coughs> I just created the Clickit Academy GitHub account. So you can follow it if you're on GitHub. I would like to, you know, see your contribution. So follow the account on GitHub. Now, the first thing you would do is you come up here and you click on new repository, okay? New repository. And I'll call this, I'll call it HTML projects. I mean, that's what it is, right? HTML projects, okay? You can give it a description if you want, make it public. You can add a readme or if you don't want to, it's up to you. I'm not adding a readme because there is no need for it. The next thing I would do is I would create a repository. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now, we need to move what we have on our local computer here, right? So the first thing you need to do is, you see there are different instructions. Create a new repository on command line. There is no need for this because we've created it on GitHub already. So we'll be pushing an existing repository from command line, okay? So we'll be pushing what we have from command line. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our computer, okay? Sorry, our VS Code, which we have open already. And let's begin the process. So go to terminal at the top and click on new terminal. I'll push this upward so you can see it very well. So my new terminal is open. The first thing we need to do is we need to initialize 
github okay sorry we need to initialize git so the first command is git init okay so this is going to start the github initialization process so now that we have git init the next thing you need to do so what git init does is git init initializes git to start tracking your files okay so i'll press enter I think I have an issue. What did I type? Sorry, guys. So, git init. Oh, so you see, it's good I have this problem, and that is because I have not installed GitHub on my computer. So, you see. <laughs> So this is another computer. So let's do that quickly. So let's go to Git and download Git. Okay. So I'm not going to edit this out so that we'll do it together. So click on the first one, Git. You see, it's good we have all this problem. So I'll download Git now. I'm using the Windows. So I'm going to download 64 Git setup. So let's wait for it to download. <coughs> so when the download is complete, then we run the installer, then we reopen the file. So you see, it's important that you have it installed already on your computer if you want to use it on the terminal. So let's do this together. Yeah, so let's install it. I just clicked on it. It's opening up. So nest is very easy. Just nest, 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 nest. There's nothing special for you to do. Nest, nest, just keep nesting everything. It's going to install everything you need. There is nothing else for you to do. nest nest install so there you have it is installing i'll come back when the installation is done so the installation is done you can launch git bash if you want so i just launched git bash so it's the terminal for git and if you know how to use a uh, bash commands like lx so this is everything i have on my computer okay so i'll close this then i can go back to that um, file sorry i can go back to that folder <coughs> and i can open it up html projects and let's go back to so yes this is the file so let's close it and reopen it close come back here and reopen this in vs code sorry it's taking a lot of time but some people are going to run into this issue and it is good that i'm doing it with you so you know that this is what caused my problem so let's redo this again we are at git init right so i'll do this again git init and as you can see it is working now so the problem i had before was that i did not have git installed on my computer the next thing you would do is git add so git add is how you add all the files that you want to track so i want to track everything so i will say dot okay git add dot enter so now i'm tracking all the file and i want to make a commit so i will say git commit then the message i would say um, html projects with Precious Muriel from Clicket Academy. It's important that you make your message very descriptive so that when people see it on GitHub, they can understand what you've done. All right. So enter. So because I just installed GitHub for the first time, it wants to know who I am. 
okay so it's asking for me to run some global configuration so the first thing we need to do is let's copy this the first one i'll copy it then i paste it then i put my my name okay on my email so this is my email first i would say uh, click it academy at gmail.com okay enter then press up so i want to change the name to so the username just look at what i'm doing okay then delete what i have inside here the username or the name is my full name precious area so now git knows who we are okay so you can press up on your keyboard to go back to git commit so let's recommit and as you can see all the 11 files have been added so it says 11 files changed okay 465 insertion if you want to clear everything you have on the screen use cls okay so i've cleared everything we are back now the next thing we've done already is what we've created our repository on github okay if i reload it there's nothing here you can see there is nothing here okay so now the next step for us is to bring these files from our computer all these files this one everything here we now have to bring it to github see we have a new github folder here so what do we do we go back to our terminal and we connect our local computer we connect the local folder to the github folder and how do you do that you just copy this link on github this is the link this one this one okay everything just click on this icon here it will copy the link for you and once that link is copied once that link is copied we go back to our terminal and paste it so I've copied it and I will right click to paste it. Okay. Now that I've right click to paste it, but don't forget, I shouldn't paste it yet. So I'll just delete it because we need to write a command. I'm just checking to ensure that I've copied it. So I will say the command we are going to use is git remote add origin okay git remote at origin space then we paste that link that we copied okay git remote at origin then the link that you copied then paste it you see that has happened already then the next thing we will now do is we have to push so you say git push forward slash u okay then origin main and if i press enter let's see what happens if we get an error so we have an error so let's check why the error so it says respect main does not match any so let's check why we have that error if i check here we have the error because um yeah we are using main so just to be sure again we can copy it it's still the same thing we can redo this let's copy this git remote add origin copy i'll paste that again maybe i typed something correctly okay it already exists good that's a good step and git branch so i'm copying this one here so we have to create a branch I think that's the step i missed so if i paste that so i'm copying from push an existing repository i've done the first one all right now i'm using the second one so i'll click on enter okay i think that worked and last but not the least we can now push the final step so i'll paste this again see i'm no longer typing and i think it's pushing let's see if it is pushing ah, it's telling me to sign in 
so you can sign in with a token and to do this with a token you have to create a personal token so this happens a, a lot of time with some people because most times it tells you to you know use a token and not use a token so some people like to use ssh So you can sign in with your username and password. So I'm just going to sign in with the browser. And I'm going to authorize, okay? Authorize Git ecosystem. So now that it has succeeded, I can go back to this file. And as you can see, all the files have been pushed to GitHub. If you doubt me, let's go back to our repository. And let's reload okay if i reload this now you can see all my files are here okay guys so this video is getting quite long because i made some errors along the way but it is important for you so you can see we've pushed our codes to github repository and as you can see the name is html projects and look at the message we typed like i said make it descriptive html projects with precious eo from clickit academy and now you can open any of the file if i open job form you can see my code right if i open lyrics you can see my code so you see it's good to have everything all your codes on github because you can share it easily with people <coughs> and your assignment from this is if you've done this it would be nice if you can share the code of your GitHub projects, okay? So just click on the project name here after your username, HTML projects or whatever you call it. And all you have to do is just to copy the link from the browser and post it for us in the group so that we can check it out for you. And don't forget to follow us on GitHub, just the way you've done on YouTube. Follow us on GitHub so that I would be able to see your projects and I will know that you are a student of ClickIt Academy. So guys, Thank you for following through with me. I'll see you in the next one where I will show you how to host these files on GitHub and it will be like a browser so we can see what you've done. So when I click on your portfolio, instead of it showing me the code, it's going to show me the, it's going to show it to me like what we have here, okay? So instead of code, we're going to have this, all right? So guys, this is it on how to push your codes to GitHub. I'll see you in the next one. Precious Serial from Cricket Academy, out.